Hey guys, so before you get into this video, I quickly want to mention Alive Market. So you guys know I love my CBD products and Alive Market is a CBD company. So quickly, I'm going to read their description. So it says, when it comes to CBD products, it can be difficult to find what you're looking for. It's hard to tell whether CBD products are being sourced from and what the labeling and lingo mean. So we decided to do something about it. So we created Alive Market, a line of CBD products using simple and organic ingredients and farming it ourselves. That way you as a consumer knows exactly where the CBD is sourced. So if you guys know I haven't followed me for a while, you guys know that I love CBD products. It helps with my anxiety, it helps me sleep, and it just helps me calm down in social situations where I might get social anxiety. So a live market giving that comfort of farming their own CBD products is actually very calming to me because as a CBD consumer, it is hard to tell which ones are actually good. And then some of them have a bunch of junk in it. So a live market was nice enough to send me an array of their CBD products. So I'm going to quickly show them to you guys. So they sent me full spectrum bath bombs that are handcrafted in small batches and they have 100 milligrams of CBD and the scent is eucalyptus and tea tree and it's free of artificial fragrance, parabens, and dye. So this completely speaks to me because when that stress hits, CBD bath bombs are it. And it takes your bath to a better level, so bomb. Um, they also sent me an Alive Market Full Spectrum CBD topical roll-on. So I like using these roll-ons for like behind the ear um, or even on my wrist and stuff to kind of like get the scent because this is it has arnica and essential oils so it has a good scent to it and it also um i love essential oils to put behind my ear for whatever reason but also the cbd it's 250 milligrams and it also helps calm you down and then they also sent me what i'm most excited well one of the things i'm most excited for is they sent me two other essential oils and Howood is one i never tried Howood essential oil and then lavender which again if you guys know me you know lavender is my favorite essential oil scent ever so the fact that i have lavender and cbd and one is just it's like a match made in heaven for me because typically when i get anxious i i use like lavender oil to help me like calm down the next thing i'm super duper excited about is their infused body butter and these both contain 600 milligrams of full spectrum CBD and it has 100% pure and organic ingredients which is so fire because it's, my skin is sensitive and it has CBD. One of them is lavender and geranium with arnica and that's this one and then the other one is peppermint and wintergreen with arnica and both of these scents are absolutely amazing so bomb. These go in my purse, by the way. And then lastly, but not least, they sent me the um, full spectrum CBD sublingual drops. And these are 25 milligrams and orange flavored. Well, they have 750 milligrams and they're orange flavored and they're cultivated with organic living soil practices. So all natural ingredients. And I've been using a bunch of these CBD drops. And I love because sometimes when it comes to the CBD companies, they do just put like whatever in their drops. So it is good to know what you have in your product. So again, I just want to thank Alive Market for sponsoring this portion of the video and for sending me such great things that for me really does just make life better i know that sounds so crazy but cbd really is life for somebody like me that struggles with like anxiety and stuff like that so thank you alive market all of their information will be somewhere here on the screen please go check them out for cbd products it's not steering you wrong it has organic ingredients and everything so it's not going to be bad for you and if you haven't tried cbd what better way to start than with a brand that has organic ingredients okay so now let's get right into the video hey guys what's up so i'm actually filming from my vlogging camera right now the footage you're about to see is from like two days ago let me see i can actually check for you guys on my phone when i film this yeah two days ago um so if you guys follow me on twitter you guys seen that i accidentally deleted some vlog footage so Two days ago, I actually, I was getting ready and I showed you guys my kitten who I named Dash, which I can still show you guys now because obviously I still have them. But I was also getting ready to release my butterflies because I wanted to film content with them before I released them and I did get to do that, thankfully so. 
but anyways the vlog footage that i so what happened was i was just about to start editing this vlog and unfortunately the vlog footage got deleted i deleted it by accident that's pretty much what happened so what happened is that this camera actually makes a new folder and for whatever reason when i put it on my laptop or my macbook whatever it just um like i don't even know how to describe it but it was in the folder and i was trying to drag it to put it on my desktop to then get into editing but it doesn't work that way i had to actually take each individual video and save it so i was able to do that for six of the videos um so I have videos, I have footage of me releasing my butterfly and I'm so freaking grateful because I would have been in tears right now that it wasn't those videos that were deleted because as I said, I would have been in tears right now because that was the last time I see my butterflies. And you guys don't even know, see I'm a little bit lost right now because I don't even know what it is that I lost and really I think it was me telling you that you guys that I got an early birthday gift and it was a cup of caterpillars and a whole kit to raise my own butterflies if you guys know me you guys know i love butterflies like yeah so that's what i was trying that's what i that's the footage that i lost is that i was telling you guys that i raised my own butterflies um and they actually had just hatched i think two days before i released it i'll have like other footage from like i did tiktoks and of course i was filming for myself anyway so i have a bunch of footage of the process so i will show you guys the process they started off as baby caterpillars and grew and it was such a beautiful process um but i was telling you guys that and then i was getting ready to film content with them because i wanted to take some pictures and videos with them before i was going to release them um so yes um, that was for my birthday. That was an early birthday gift. So the last video you guys seen is of my birthday vlog. My birthday was great. As you've seen, um, it was very calm, but it was good. It was perfect. It was exactly what I needed. And you guys know that I got a kitty and I named him Dash. I'll show you guys where he is right now. His bed is actually right under my vanity and he is sleeping. So, oh, I got had the camera so close to me. But his bed is under my vanity and he's sleeping. So I'm going to show you guys. There's my little angel. <laughs> he's not too much of an angel because look what he did to my hand though. Scratches everywhere. And I also have some like on my legs and stuff. But that's my little baby, my, yeah, I love him so much. Um, so anyways, yeah, I was showing you guys him and how he jumped into one of my shelves and stuff like that. I also showed you guys my new plant. I'm trying to remember everything that got deleted. So I'm like restoring it myself and that'll make me feel better because I'm so angry. Okay, anyway, I'm not angry. I'm letting it go. It's, I'm, I'm letting it go. It's gone. But this is my new plant and she's up here because Dash has a bad habit of biting my plants and stuff. So Sarah is going through it. I'm not even gonna show you guys how Sarah's looking. The top of her is good, but the bottom, let me show you guys my new plant. So that's what it looks like. It's a peace lily and I'm gonna move it from here cause I don't like how it looks up here. But this area was where I had the net, where I had my butterflies. So as soon as um, I released them and threw out the net, I was like, yeah, this is a perfect perfect um space for her right now dash won't get to her and like abuse her as he's been doing um and she's really new my grandma gifted me her for my birthday and i just received it a couple of days ago so yeah all of my gifts were really kind of meaningful like i got a plant i got a kitty and i had caterpillars and i had a couple of other gifts as well this vlog camera is one of them um, but I had such meaningful, um, gifts and stuff and I'd say the butterflies is probably one of my favorites because they're just so, I don't know, like watching the whole process was so spiritual and beautiful and, um, yeah. So you guys will see me releasing them. I'm also going to include some footage of, that I still have from, okay, so the reason, let me tell you guys, the reason why I still have footage is because it was on two separate, um, what do you call this, SD cards, it was on two separate SD cards, so one of the SD cards had me just getting ready and showing you guys Dash and 
just kind of chatting with you guys i don't remember what i said but i tried to remember everything here because i did want you guys to know these things obviously but the other one has um when i was releasing them so that's the footage that i do have because i kind of i was able to save them before i freaking emptied my trash and i have some footage also from my um, regular camera when I was taking pictures I actually hit record and recorded me playing with the butterflies and stuff so I do have some footage so that's what I'm kind of pushing and mushing all together to actually add to the vlog but I'm gonna edit this vlog right now and hopefully I don't delete it again oh my gosh if anybody has any kind of way to recover files from an emptied trash on a macbook pro i'd appreciate it but i know i know it's like permanently deleted and i really don't want to download any softwares and cause bigger issues because as i said the footage that i lost is not too crazy i just really you guys i do not like losing pictures or videos like i if i'm a hoarder i'm definitely a picture and video hoarder like i have hard drives that i save all of my pictures and videos and it's not just like of me or anything it's like just family like like yeah um if anybody i have blackmail on all my family and no, i'm just kidding but i do i have like from childhood photos like i love saving pictures because i love memories and stuff but anyways i'm just rambling on now so i hope you guys enjoy the release and journey of me raising my caterpillars um I recommend anybody does it it was very beautiful a very beautiful experience and i'm definitely gonna do it again so i hope you guys enjoy this footage again this footage is from i'm gonna have to date in there so i'll see you guys in my next video i'm gonna just say that now please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff and thank you guys for all the birthday wishes once again and thank you guys just thank you guys for existing okay i'm going i'm going now i'm going now okay, bye. The other one doesn't want to come down, but I have these three here. This one is so small. I don't know if you guys can see. This one is a little bit bigger. And then this one is another small one. This one has been the biggest, I think. The other one is like high up in my curtain and I can't get it. And I don't want to keep bothering them. I'm really about to just let them go. I'm really sad about it, but they are so beautiful. I can't believe I'm holding butterflies. I can't believe I've seen these as like just caterpillars. Look how beautiful. So beautiful. Come on. Oop. <laughs> To let it go. Go ahead now. Oh, I don't even know where it went. All right, here's number two. Go ahead. Oh, 
it's not trying to go. I want to stay. Hmm. Come on, number two. You don't want to go? No. Oh, I went away. Go ahead now. You can go. Oh, there you go. They fly, huh? This is number four. Whenever you're ready. Off it went. Okay, you guys, so as you saw, I just released all of my butterflies. I'm really sad about it. I have hair on my lip. I'm really sad about it, but I don't think I'll cry. I just kind of feel really a little emotional, I'm not gonna lie. It was such a beautiful process to watch um, them from little caterpillars to fat caterpillars and really long to these beautiful butterflies. And I only had them for about two days, I think. I, I fed them watermelon. Let me open the door, cause Dash, I had to keep them in the bathroom. Turn on my AC too. So I had to keep them. I mean, I fed them watermelon and oranges. They mostly ate the watermelon. And today the watermelon is a little rotten, so they was really eating today. But yeah. I only kept them for about two days and now I let them go and I feel really kind of sad about it but it's okay because I can grow more um, or raise more if anybody knows where I can actually find monarch caterpillars then let me know in the comments down below or email me whatever I really monarchs are like my favorite butterflies as you guys see back here I don't know if you guys can see because I can't right here those are my favorite so if you guys know where i can get monarch caterpillars and let me know i know they're really big and i probably need like a whole different setup for them um but i'm willing to try it out and now it's about to be winter so i can't let them go when it's colder than 55 degrees i saw so i would rather do it sooner than later so anyways if you guys know where i can find monarch caterpillars then please dash really then please let me know. Um, maybe I'll take some pictures with Dash now. Let's see if he lets me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little process of me letting them go. Um, it says that they can actually stay in the habitat for a couple of days, like the habitat that they was let go in for a couple of days. So maybe I'll see them around sometime. If I didn't annoy them too much with taking pictures of with them. Um, let's see. But I'm gonna try to take some pictures with Dash now. And then I'm gonna get ready to head out and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, so I'm probably switching between cameras because this is the camera I take pictures with, but he is such a model kitty. I'm gonna show you guys a picture too. He is so happy to take pictures with mama. Oh, now he's trying to jump over. Okay, okay, okay. Right when you start bragging about him, he just don't know how to act. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go get ready because I'm hot. This was a long process with these butterflies. It's now like five o'clock. I'm not going outside with this little tube top. Um, maybe I should, I'm gonna take some regular pictures and see. I think it looks cute, but whatever. I'm really not happy right now because I let go of my butterflies, but I am happy because, okay, so I searched online and the, 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 the butterflies that I had are painted lady butterflies. So they, in, in captivity it's not even like a great captivity like they don't have a bunch of space and stuff but in captivity they survive two to three weeks but in the wild they survive 12 months which i don't think they're gonna survive that long anyway because i live in new york city so as soon as it gets cold i don't know about all of that i searched that yesterday and then i said you know what that's dash hitting my tripod I said, you know what, I have to let them go so they can have a longer life and so they can have a variety of foods. I just have to let them go so they can live. Damn, that was deep. You see, everything about butterflies is super deep. 
<laughs> or is it just me and my mental? So anyways, I'm gonna go for real now and I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm gonna have to put this room back together and throw out that habitat thing because it smells, that watermelon in there, it smells. I just, yeah. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in a little bit.